Yo, YouTube, what's good? How you guys doing, man? Just got home from the gym. I just got home from running around, doing some errands and stuff like that, trying to keep my space clean, you know, trying to keep my room clean, uh, trying to stay disciplined. You know, that's a form of self-love, you guys, is discipline. Um, especially when we go on retention, you guys, our discipline, you know, we should really try to focus on that. It's one of those things that... I feel like kind of happens naturally when you start to retain your life force. You know, your discipline goes up and, uh, well, your value for yourself goes up, you know, when you retain. It's one of those benefits that happens kind of naturally. So, you know, it's on us to be, you know, on point with that stuff. So I just went and got some, got me a little laundry hamper, a new one, and then some hangers. You know, I'm trying to get my closet on point, you know, so I can get my laundry, all that stuff, you know, I really like to be on top of everything, you guys, it makes you feel a lot better, you know, they say cleanliness is godliness, so it's one of those things that, you know, I'm trying to work on, and obviously, I recommend that for anybody who watches my videos to be on top of that stuff, you know, it makes you feel a lot better, so let's get to the point here, man, the video that I'm making tonight is going to be called, The Flowers Do Not Chase the Bees, all right, the flowers don't chase the bees. Okay, so what does that mean? Kind of goes hand in hand with the last video that I made. You guys, it's all about, it's really about these females. It's about these females that are out here. You know, we could really correlate it to a lot of different things, but um, it's, it's all part of how semen retention turns you into a magnetic individual. All right, so what does that mean? The flowers don't chase the bees. Well, think about it. The bees go to the flowers, you know, pollinate the flowers, and they feed on the flowers. You know, it's not the flowers that are going and chasing after the bees, you know. Essentially, us as retainers, you know, we are the flowers, okay? So we are these spiritual, magical entities, you know, when we start to retain our life force, you know, we get this crazy spiritual energy coursing through our body and we become, you know, solid, magical individuals out here. Let me know if you guys feel me, but, um, so, and essentially the bees are the females. The bees are the females, um, or, you know, any other people that are, um, or opportunities or, you know, a lot of, a lot of these things that we're trying to attract in our life. You know what I mean? So, essentially flowers don't chase the bees you guys the whole the whole object of this um concept is that we are as retainers you know we're supposed to be cultivating um all of these things into our life attracting all these things into our life and that all starts by retaining you know if you're retaining right now you're doing a good job and you are you know little like even if you don't know it you know you're turning into a magnetic force you know and you're going to be able to pull things into your reality just by your energy you know your energy you're going to be going around and you know you're going to be feeling good and your self-worth is going to be going up your self-love is going to be going up so you know we're going to be able to essentially yeah like pull things into our reality you guys and, and it's um it's seriously like I don't know how else to describe it other than, you know, this all started happening as soon as I started retaining, you know, it's definitely a very spiritual concept, you know, so it's going to happen with, um, you know, men, other men out here as friends, you know, friendly stuff, you know, people are going to be picking up on your energy pretty much wherever you go. So, you know, for me, I'm just going to give examples, you know, I started, you know, when I started this new job, um, a lot of my coworkers now, you know, they, you know, ask me to hang out all the time and, you know, they just think that I'm like a respectable dude. You know, I've got a good reputation now at, at the workplace, you know, and that's just from me showing up and, you know, putting out good energy. You know what I mean? First of all, being a good worker, but also, you know, showing respect to people. And obviously, you know, there's also that metaphysical stuff uh, going on that, that I like to talk about a lot that you know, is emanating from us, you know, as soon as we uh, start to retain, you know, you turn into, you know, you basically stand out in, in the spiritual realm, you know, we stand out, you guys, so uh, people are going to start noticing us, so it's going to be 
dudes who are, you know, want to be your friend, you know, maybe want to collaborate with you on certain things. You know, I've had, I've had people, you know, I tell some people that I have a YouTube channel and I, you know, very picky with who I tell about this stuff and about SR and, you know, I have a podcast too. Um, so I tell certain people and now people are always, you know, they want to jump in on it. You know, they want a piece of the pie, you know. That's what I've noticed is like you start to attract all these people that they want to start messing with you because they see that you have the light. They see that you have drive, motivation. They see that you're actually like a serious individual out here, you know, making moves. And they can see that you're basically on the come up, you know, they, they want to have a piece of it. So that's another, you know. You're the flower, they're the bees, you know, they're coming to you, you know. That's how it works on semen retention. We can't be, we just have to make sure that we're not out here trying to do the most and acting all crazy, trying to hang out with all these different types of people, trying to get validation from people, trying to do all this crazy stuff, you know. No, the energy is for us to just stay centered, stay retaining, stay focused on what we're doing, you know, stay tapped in with God, stay focused you know, on our goals, whatever it is we're trying to get done or manifest into our lives, and all the other things will come to us, you know, like a magnet. These females out here, you guys, this is especially a big one. You know, I just I just read a Bible verse in the last video. Um, basically, it was from Proverbs, and it says, you know, do not waste your strength on women. You know, God's essentially telling us, that it's very important for us to focus on ourselves and our own energy and what we want to accomplish in life and being a good um, man, a powerful man out here, you know, masculine, you know, a leader, all these different types of qualities, you guys, that we're focused on, you know, that we're reliable, solid individuals out here that are, you know, getting things done and getting our goals accomplished, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, Bible says don't, don't, Put your strength towards the women so essentially it's again you know we're going to be that flower and the females are the bees you know we're going to allow them to come to us you guys and god will bless us with the right woman when it's time you know what i'm saying instead of doing all this crazy stuff like i said in the last video maybe going out to the bars or the clubs or whatever it is you know dating apps all this stuff that essentially means that you're chasing women you know it's like you're not okay just being single and being yourself and retaining, forming a connection with God. It's like you're, you're reaching for all these external things. And women is a huge one. You know, I know a lot of guys nowadays where, you know, they might not be like having sex all the time. But, you know, all they're thinking about is women. You know, I'm going to hang out with this girl. You know, I'm going to go like, and that's, that's what they equate success to it's like oh I'm, i got this girl i'm gonna chill with and like that's like you know that's like their favorite thing about life is like finding these girls to chill with you know and i i get it you know girls are beautiful they're amazing you know human beings and and uh, nurturers and lovers and women are absolutely amazing you know but it becomes toxic you guys when we're just consumed with them you know so when we're focused on them it's like all these other essential areas for us to grow as men, you know, we're slacking in these areas. I was just in a relationship for five, six years, and I stopped doing a lot of things that I love to do, you guys. I stopped doing, you know, I like to play golf, skateboard, go to the gym, play basketball. You know, I do a lot of things, you know, I have just hobbies that I like to do, and, you know, this girl that I was with distracted me from all that. You know, it's like all I want to do is chill, lay in the bed with this girl, you know, watch movies and fool around and, you know, like, it's essentially like you, you get under this spell, you know, when you have a female in your life that's showing you love and, you know, letting you smash all the time and doing this stuff. It's like all these other areas of our life start to slack off. So we can't be focused on the women. You know, it says right there in the Bible, don't give all of your strength to women, you know, be the flower, let the women be the bees, you know, be the flower, just work on yourself first, you know, work on your goals, you know, be a good, um, whatever it is that you do to make ends meet, you know, when you go to work or, you know, you got a business, you know, put your energy towards that or towards, you know, building your empire, building, you know, whether it is, you know, making money for yourself and supporting yourself, you know, maybe you're on a fitness journey, you go into the gym, 
you know, as a lot of us retainers like to do. Focus on that kind of stuff. You know, making money for yourself, fitness, other types of hobbies. You know, obviously I have my YouTube channel and then I got my podcast and things like that. So this is a creative outlet for me. So I use a lot of my, you know, sexual energy that I could be wasting on women. I put it into these videos for you guys. And I put it into, you know, the podcast, you know, with my boy Martin and stuff like that. So it's all about learning to transmute this energy, you know, that we would have um, used on the women, you know, and it's all you guys, it's, it's not just like actually having sex with them. All of it, you know, it's it's the energy that you put it can be just texting girls, you know, at nighttime, you know, I noticed that myself, like, I still talk to some women, I have like, you know, friendly conversations with girls all the time. But, you know, I've noticed that all of that energy, you know, can be used towards other things, you know, and honestly, if we're working on trying to attract someone into our life, <clears throat> that's the best way to do it is be that flower, you know, work on being the most beautiful flower that you can be, and you're going to attract all these bees, you know, instead of, you know, flowers don't chase the bees, you guys, I'm just going to keep saying it because, man, it's a great, it's a great metaphor, man, it's just, we have to work on ourselves first, and working on being coming the most powerful beings that we can be, you know, and then we're going to attract people into our life at that point, you know, because they're going to see, you know, who we are. And then, you know, then we can kind of pick and choose who the right people, you know, to have in our life are, you know, it's a beautiful concept, you guys, because looking at my old self, you guys, I was actually doing, I was out there doing the most, you know, hanging with all these different kind of people trying to be friends with all these people, you know, and now I just I got a small circle now and, you know, I can feel it working in real time. You know, I had this girl at the gas station today, you know, I could tell, I could just feel, you know, energy I walked up to pay and I could feel her energy, you know, she's looking me up and down, she gave me a compliment on one of my tattoos and she was just like, I could tell that she was, she was feeling me, you know, and it's just, I didn't simp out and, you know, do anything like that. I just kind of stayed in my frame and kept it pushing, you know, maybe if it's meant to be, I'll see her again, you know what I'm saying? I'm not out here chasing the bees, you know, I'll let the bees come to me. So that's my message for you guys tonight. You know what I'm saying? Don't be trying to be a flower chasing the bees. Let the bees come to you. You know, just let's let God do the work, you know, work on yourself first and foremost. And then you're going to attract the right person for you, the person that matches up with your frequency. You know, it's all spiritual. You guys, you're going to attract somebody that's on your same level spiritually. So. All right, guys. God bless, man. Hope you guys got something out of this. And uh, yeah, might make another one tonight. But I uh, hope everybody had a good day. Staying strong. You know what I mean? Getting in the gym. Hitting those goals. Staying disciplined. That's pretty much uh, what I'm trying to push here, you guys. That's what I'm recommending, you guys. Discipline and working out and all these things, you know, it's very important on the SR journey, you guys, because it's goes hand in hand and then we turn into some some serious uh dudes out here so all right guys much love i'll talk to you later